hello guys uh, today we are going to see like how can we create uh, a elastic block storage volume and how can we use this volume with uh, uh, window instance and uh, linux instance so uh, for this today we will be creating one ebs volume and uh, two instances ec2 instances one will be a window instance and uh, another one will be one linux instance so <clears throat> Since uh, uh, EC2 instances takes time to uh, start working, uh, we'll create the instances first, and then we'll move ahead, move ahead to create the EBS volume. Uh, well, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to launch one instance that will be the window instance, and here I'm selecting the AMI that is a uh, Microsoft Windows Server 2016 base AMI and uh, in the second step i am not going to change anything we'll go ahead with the t2 micro type of instance and in the third step where we configure the instance we will select one availability zone that will be the eu west 2a uh, i'm intentionally selecting this availability zone because we use the ebs volume with ec2 instances in the same availability zone so just to make sure that our instance and the volume both are in the same availability zone well so i'm going ahead with the eu west 2 a availability zone and uh, now i click on review and launch click on launch and here if for this region i do not have any key pair so i will download one key pair i will create one key pair and will download it so uh, I will give a name EBS0002 and uh, we'll save this file and we'll click on launch instance. Now my instance is up and running but it will take some time to uh, get initialized. By the time it is taking uh, getting initialized I will be creating the another instance and before that I will rename the instance so that I can easily identify which one is the window instance and which one is the Linux instance okay so now uh, let's uh, launch one Linux instance and I will be using the AMI Amazon Linux AMI the very first AMI in the quick start list and uh, again I'm going to the configure instance detail I will make sure that I'm using the same availability zone that is EU West 2A now click on review and launch click on launch and I will be using the same key pair for both the instances and launch the instance now this instance is also running let's view the instances and rename the Linux one okay so it will take some time to uh, get initialized by the time it is getting initialized let's create one volume so to create a volume i went to the right panel i mean left side panel and from here in under section of elastic block storage i clicked on volume and I open it in another tab so this is the list of the volumes that I have and since I haven't created any volume the these two volumes are the root volumes of the two instances that I have launched so this 8 GB volume is for the Linux instance and I will rename it so that I can easily identify and 30 GB one is the volume for root volume for window instance okay and if i see the properties these two instances these two uh, uh, volumes are attached to respective instances now let's create one elastic block storage volume and that is the volume that we will be attaching to the instances 
so click on create volume and here instead of going with 100 GB I will use the minimum uh, size for the volume that is 1 GB and anyways we are using this for just uh, understanding purpose we are not going to use uh, or consume the full uh, allocated size for this volume so we'll go ahead with the minimum one so that we get charged less and very important point is that in availability zone I will make sure that I am selecting the same availability zone that I have used for creating and launching the instances and uh, at that time we used eu underscore west 2a so I will be using the same availability zone and if we use the another one then I will not be able to attach this volume to our running instances so I will make sure I am using the same availability zone rest of the uh, rest of the properties uh, leave it as default and just click on create volume well so uh, our volume is created now if I refresh this I will be able to see the newly created volume and uh, here we see that this is not attached to any instance I will rename this volume as uh, abs underscore volume and click on ok well so uh, now since uh, the volume is available with us uh, I, if I want to use this volume I will have to attach this to any of the instances and uh, as per the property of the EBS we cannot attach one volume to more than one instance so I will be attaching this firstly to the window instance and from here I will select the window instance and click on attach once I click on attach I can see that this is in the attaching status and by the time it is getting attached okay so it's now attached well so now let's see how can we confirm whether it is attached or not so we have selected this window instance let's refresh this and if you go down you will see this block device volume listed under this it confirms that the volume is successfully attached to this particular instance now let's connect to the instance and to connect to instance I will have to get the password for the administrator and for it for which I will be getting the PM file which I had downloaded so for that let me bring it down to the desktop so this is this is the one so I will bring it and I will store it in the key pair folder and now I will browse it again in desktop I will go for the key pair and here it is make sure you are selecting the correct key pair file else it will not be connected successfully now just decrypt the password and copy this password on your clipboard now click on download remove desktop file and click on ok to open with then it will ask you for the password so it is trying to connect and now uh, it is asking for the password I will give the password here and click on ok click on yes and it will get connected okay so it is configuring uh, I mean it is getting configured and by the time it is getting configured let's uh, convert our ppk file pm file to ppk file so we have this here and if I want to connect to my is this Linux instance I will have to be ready with my ppk file so I will load the .pm file from here and I will convert it into ssh1 rsa and save the private key I will use the same name that is abs0002 and let's save this okay now close this one and let's see we are into our window instance well 
so if i check the volume here in my pc then i see only one disk is available that is of 30 gb and the one that we have attached to this instance is still not available so to make it available we will have to follow certain steps that is uh, in the search box first we need to search for administrative tool so administrative tool so i will be opening the window administrative tool that is a de uh, desktop application and from here i will be selecting the computer management and when new window will come up here and in under the storage section i will be going with the disk uh, disk management and here i see that this 1 gb ebs volume that i have attached to this instance is available but it is offline so first activity that we will be doing here we will select this volume and click on action go to all tasks and from here this is something okay go to actions all tasks and click on online well still i am not able to i will not be able to use this volume because i need to initialize this so again select the volume disk and click on all task and initialize the disk uh, you will not be changing anything here go with the default option click on ok all right so now it is initialized but it has not been allocated so this is a raw disk volume and i need to allocate this so i will be selecting this and click on right uh, just uh, do a right click and select the new simple volume when uh, a wizard will open you just need to go through this wizard without changing anything but one point very important that you should uh, remember is that here one check is done which is perform a quick format so since we are going to use a very fresh uh, volume and we do not have any data in that so we can go ahead with this option but if we have one uh, old ebs volume where we have some data and if we want to use that data then make sure that you are unchecking this um, option because it will format your volume and every all the data that is there will be lost so um, for this i will be going with the default option and click on next and click on finish so the moment i do this it will turn into blue color and here i will be able to see the new volume available to us now if i get it to this volume i can easily create a file i can manage the file into this so um, for this demo purpose i will be creating one file here and in this file i will be writing some you know, information like this is the evs volume created for window instance and linux instance that's it anything you can type it here and close it now to saving the content now this is how we can create the abs volume attached to the window instance and start using it let's say that i'm terminating this window and i decided to move on to the linux instance so how can i use this volume so to do that you just uh, go and select this disk and uh, click on action and make it offline once it is done then you can come out of this instance and uh, come to the window that uh, volume list okay this is the right one here we have the list of the volumes and we see that this is attached to the window instance now i want to use this with the with the linux instance 
so I will go to action and uh, click on force detach so this ABS volume will be detached from the window instance I click on yes and it will take some time to get detached by the time it is getting detached let's connect to our Linux instance and for that I will be using the public IP address of the Linux instance and uh, let's create one new session in the putty use the public IP address and uh, select the ppk file from here click on open click on yes use ec2 user here and now it is connected so now here if I want to check that what are the volumes that is attached to or available for the use in this Linux instance I will type one command l ls blk and it will list the volumes so here I see that only one volume that is the root volume of 8 GB is available with this instance now let's uh, go back to the volume console and uh, now it is available for the use it is detached so I can use it with the Linux instance now go to action and attach it to the Linux instance attach it now it will take some time to get attached based on the size so it's just of 1 GB so it gets attached very quickly now if I run the same command here ls blk I see that both the volumes are available here right okay how can we use this because this is uh, not mounted yet and we do not need to make it a file system because uh, if I am using any volume on window it is already at the time of getting initialized it can it got converted into a file system so we did not to make it a file system just like we do it for the very fresh EBS volume attached to the Linux instance now uh, we can start using this but for that we need to mount it and to mount this we have to have a directive on in which we should mount this volume so let's get into the root user first because some of the commands will not be allowed as the EC2 user and now I am logged in as a root user so now let's create one directory mkdir and I will use one name uh, let's take my name so here I see that one directory is available with us now let's type one command for the mounting mount slash dev slash xvdf1 now I am using one uh, we need to use this name if we go with this one it will not work so I will be using xvdf1 and then type the name of the directory where I want to mount it done so this got mounted into this now let's get into the directory vikas directory and here if I type ls minus lrt I can see this file which we created in the window instance now it is available here and here also I can use it so if I want to see the content of this I can use cat then vikas dot txt and I can see the content this is the same content that we have used at the time of creating the file and uh, we can also modify the content here and you can say like this got used in Linux instance So this is how we can create the EBS volume and we can use it with the Linux instance as well as the window instance so if you have any question regarding this you can post it in the, the comment section and uh, if you like this video you can subscribe the channel so that you get uh, notified for uh, future videos that we will be posting under this uh, YouTube channel thank you